Hi, this is Daniela Camboni of Kitco News, and we are kicking off our coverage here at the Metals Investor Forum. It's really the prelude ahead of the PDAC, the world's largest mining conference. And with me now is Gwen Preston of the Resource Maven newsletter. Gwen, welcome back. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, it's going to be a crazy event. <laughs> are we ready? To are we about? ever really ready for PDAC? <laughs> right, so you were a keynote speaker here today at the, the Metals Investor Forum, and I know your talk was centered around trade deals um, and and what that will mean for mining companies, what it will mean for the mining industry, what impact could it have here, whether we, we get one or don't. Right. So this is sort of how I'm capturing the possibility going forward here. 2018 was kind of a weird year for, for metals and for mining. There was a lot of uncertainty broadly because I think primarily of the trade war between America and China. And that really dampened sentiment, entered a lot of uncertainty in the broad stock markets. Now we're at a point where there's two paths forward. Either we get a trade deal or we don't. And what I think is really interesting is, to me, gold is set up to do really well in either case but base metals will only do well in one of those situations. So just to sum it up, if we get a trade deal, all of a sudden business that's been put on hold happens. We get growth again, confidence right. returns, the broad stock markets go, get going again, and base metals get their chance, right? Commodities always outperform late in stock markets. That's exactly what we're set up for. Copper's in deficit, nickel's in deficit, right? right? So we're set up for that base metal opportunity, but we need broad confidence to come back, so we need the trade deal for that. So base metals will get their opportunity, but gold would also perform because it performs alongside commodities and there's going to be a lot of investors who see that late market rally and are like, whoa, that's always the thing that happens before it all comes tumbling down. Those investors would sell out of their stocks and buy safe havens. They would buy gold. So gold does well if we get a trade deal. Base metals do well if we get a trade deal. If we don't get a trade deal, Base metals, unfortunately, despite these very strong supply-demand fundamentals, would get denied their chance. They would trade on fear, not fundamentals. They wouldn't get their opportunity. But gold would really shine because the safe haven card is the only thing that would matter in the case of no trade deal because everyone's confidence would fall apart and I think the broad markets would come and down. And when you're speaking gold, Gwen, you're speaking physical gold, bullion, and the miners? Absolutely, yeah, for sure. So we're certainly, I mean, I talk about gold as the reference point, and we all talk about gold yeah. as the reference point, but then we all invest in the miners for the leverage. How do you see sentiment in the space? Obviously, we're seeing miners outpacing physical bullion right now, the opposite of what was happening last year, but how, how do you see it? So it's certainly improving. This last, I mean, talk to me in December, and right. we were not all very happy in right. December, but the first, I mean, We've got, you know, t gold is up actually 12% in six months. Like the chart looks of the last six months looks fantastic. It's come up through some, some pretty important barriers. Obviously, Friday was not our favorite day. Right. It came Friday aside. <laughs> Friday aside. We'll right. hope that that's a blip. Yeah. Um, but, and then, yes, like you say, the, the, the miners are offering some leverage. And I think that's just yet another indication that the market is understanding that we're at the late stage of, a, of an economic right. expansion, the late stage of a bull market. That's when gold and commodities do well. So that's when we should get leverage in the equity. So what about on the PGM side, Gwen? Obviously, we're seeing a lot of enthusiasm for palladium. Mm -hmm. um, is it, is it correct to believe in that metal right now? I think it is. I don't follow, I, it, it's not my first metal right. that I follow, but from what I, actually someone just the other day asked me to look into Palladium because they were looking for an right. opinion. And it looks actually justified to me. Like the, the supply isn't there, the demand is there. I think Palladium's going to do well. Hope for silver, any thoughts? I mean, silver is the classic uh, slingshot effect, right? So we just need gold to really define its momentum and then silver should do its classic coiled spring slingshot effect. So. Gwen, thank you so much for stopping by. Happy conference. I know it's going to be a long, it's long a, four days. It's a for long us, one for but, all but, of us, but right? A lot of fun. Thank you so much. Perfect. And thanks for watching. We'll have much more for you. Stay tuned.